I wanted to show how easy it is to do things with uh, ChatGPT. It's crazy. Um, what I wanted to do was basically graph the number of days it took to get to a million users by different technologies. So here's my list. I have ChatGPT, iPhone, Instagram, Spotify, Facebook, Airbnb, Netflix. And then these numbers in, in column D, 5, 74, 75 are the days that a million users. I thought this would be super easy to do in um, Excel, but it's really hard. At least I haven't found a way to do it. That's easy. So I'm going to select my data and I can say insert. I can do a scatter plot. And what we see is that the days are on the uh, y axis and on the x axis is just the categories. Basically, it hasn't given me the names. Um, these are the different technologies without the right labels. Um, I thought maybe if I laid it out differently, so here I pivoted the table, insert scatter plot, and actually using the exact same graph, I can go into the graph and select data and say, switch the wrong column. And now I sort of what I want. Um, the days are on the, on the left, I want, on the y axis, I actually want the days on the x axis. Um, but here I have the number of days it took to get to a million users. Um, and they're different color coded by the different uh, technologies. And I hear the technologies at the bottom. It's hard to see. This needs to be formatted. But I want this flipped. Um, and I want lines. I want a line that goes from zero to the data points. Um, scatter check plots won't do it. You can actually add a trend line. So I double click on it, um, add a trend line. There's a trend line now. If I want that to be solid, I need to go in and edit it. Also, if I want a label, I need to edit it. Um, what I ended up doing is actually adding every single one of these one by one, because I wanted the y-axis to be day uh, zero to a million and the x-axis to be days. Um, but as you can see, the defaults are really light. These, these labels, I couldn't get those labels. These are actually text boxes that I made and put on the graph. So anyway, let's go to ChatGPT. Oh, did I lose my chat GPT? So I'm going to do it saved count. So let's just go up. So I say, I want to graph the number of days seven technologies took to get to a million users. They are chat GPT 5, iPhone 74, etc. Here's a bar chart. I don't know where the bars are, but it's a good start. Then I say, please write code to graph the data. So what I can do is, is copy this code, go over to my shell, do Python. and paste the code. And there I have it. Now, this isn't exactly what I wanted. So what I have, here's the technologies. Um, and basically, uh, things are mislabeled here. Uh, but basically, on the y-axis is the number of days it took. So I wanted to get more like I had in Excel, where there's a line going up. So I'm going to talk to GPT, say, Reverse the x axis. Reverse the axis. So I can go try this. And drop it in. Need to kill this graph first. Okay. Now sort of have it. So days a million users. Um, I want this on the x-axis. Uh, getting closer. Let's just keep playing. So that's not what I want yet. So say, write the code to make a line, make the graph of the line per technology. Like I want, I don't want one line. I want there to be seven lines. So let's see what it does then. Been figured out. Let's try asking again. Write the code to create a graph where there's a line for each technology starting at zero and going to the number of days it took to get to a million users. Ah, getting closer. So now I have a line for each technology. It represents how many days it took to get to a million users. Um, I want them to start off at the same origin. Everybody starts off at zero days and zero users, and I want to go to a million users in the number of days. 
So let's get a little more information. Whoa. Okay, update the update to create a line graph with separate lines for each technology, with each line starting at zero zero and going to the number of days to get to a million. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, getting there. Okay, but the axis are a bit reversed. So I want days on the x-axis and the y-axis to be zero to a million users. So let's see if we can tell it to like reverse the axes or something. Update the code, create a line graph with the x-axis being zero to a million users and the y-axis being the number of days to a million users. Create separate lines, make them each star off at zero, zero. Try it again. Okay, getting there, almost there, except basically the zero's on the right, I want zero on the left. Okay, perfect code. Just change it to start with the x-axis at zero on the left and go up to the right. Okay, let's try this. Oh, Got to kill that window. And boom, I have it. Uh, it's missing labels. So I wonder if we can add labels. But that's exactly what I wanted. I couldn't do that in Excel. At least I had to do it manually, line by line. Please add labels for each line showing the technology name. See how long it takes. This is live. The rest of my ran before the video. And I didn't tell it to pick a language. I was wondering what it would do. It picked Python, which is fine. It's easy to run. I'm on a Mac. It's easy to install Mac. It uses MATLAB bot, which is easy to install with pip. Okay, let's try this. Wow. There we go. Now I could go farther. Um, I could ask it to place the label on each line. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Oh, I got to kill that window. I'm going to run the code again. Awesome, please place the labels on the chart area next to each line. Here's updated code. Somebody just tweeted the past few days, I think, that the most exciting new programming language is English. <laughs> like, I'm not even reading this code. I mean, I started to like tweak it by hand. I was like, why even bother? I was gonna like edit it in VI, but I was like, Let's just have it redo the code. Okay. This is looking like it might not do what I want, but let's see. Those labels look like different kind of labels. It did it. Well, messy looking, but it did it. Ah. Okay, it's a little bit more formatting, but you get the idea. I mean, like, I'm just asking to do things. This is freaking amazing. Okay, I should stop this video. How do I stop? Was this not recording? Oh, there it is.